When the boiling point difference between components is very small, for example, in the case of isomers or compounds with very similar molecular weights, separation becomes much more challenging. If the material is not heat sensitive, distillation is usually a good option to consider. Compared with other separation methods, distillation has a much higher upper limit in terms of achievable purity. This is a small laboratory distillation setup, commonly used to explore the separation and purification of reaction products. The system is made of glass, and similar designs can be scaled up to around 200 liters. Structurally, it works like a batch still. Here you have the rectifying column, and above it, the vaporizer, along with a reflux ratio control system. In industrial practice, reflux is typically controlled using a magnetic solenoid reflux valve or a metering pump. For any proper distillation operation, reflux is essential. Without reflux, high purity cannot be achieved. If no reflux ratio is set, the rectifying column only produces a short, natural internal reflux. In that case, it functions more like a mist separator rather than a true rectification system, resulting in much poorer separation. Depending on the process, distillation can also be operated continuously, under vacuum, combined with chemical reactions, or in semi-continuous modes.